Hi, this is Ed from Enbos. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate what I think is one of the cooler features of the software suite, and that's creating a planet map uh, using astrosynthesis and fractal mapper. So let's say you've generated a astrosynthesis sector, uh, and you've come up with a nice random planet here. Um, now we want to make a fractal mapper map out of that, and it's easier than you might think. So what you want to do is select the planet, right click, and say edit surface map. What that will do is open it up in Fractal World Explorer, which is the 3D terrain editing program that comes with both Astrosynthesis and Fractal Mapper. Now this is kind of small right here, the, the initial generated planet. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to enlarge that. So first let's clear the atmosphere so we can see what it looks like. This looks like a pretty good planet here. I'm going to map enlarge globe. What this will do is it takes the initial seed information for the random planet and regenerates it at a much higher resolution. So any edits you would have made in Fractal World Explorer are going to get wiped out uh, as it regenerates the planet uh, completely. So just hit yes. And you can see we have a much larger version now of that planet map. Now, to make the Fractal Mapper map, all you have to do is go to File, Create Fractal Mapper Map. And we're going to select the file, select the file name. We're just going to call it this here. And now we're going to select the different contour settings. I would just leave it as the defaults for the first couple times, this way you can get a feeling for what they look like. Uh, what this will do is create contour levels at every 2,000 meter in in increment. So we'll say export. And when it's finished, let's go to Fractal Mapper. And we're going to open that map up. And here you see it converted to contours. And this is now a vector map converted from the terrain data that uh, Astrosynthesis generated. And you can zoom in here and you can see the different uh, contour elevation lines. Now, uh, you, as you can see here, this is both, this does contour information for both below the uh, sea level and above sea level. So what we're going to do now is play around a little bit with the contour settings. Let's uh, instead this time go to create a fractal mapper map, and we're going to set this to zero. What that'll tell uh, the program to do is not to output the contours for below sea level. So let's export it. And we'll go to Fractal Mapper now. And as you can see now we have a nice solid ocean. Now once it's in the Fractal Mapper these are of course just regular editable objects. Um, one of the things I like to do is once I get that, once I have the map generated, is outline the, outline the land. This way it's a little bit more uh, discernible. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the lowest level, the dark, the dark green here, and go to select by example, same fill color, and that will select every object on the map of that color. And now we're going to just right click on the black to give it a black outline and go to solid. And now you can see there's a nice solid outline, but it's only on the lowest level elevation contour. Now let's play around a little bit more with the different settings. What I like to do is if you're making a political map, you don't necessarily want the terrain information in there. So let's go to Create Fractal Mapper Map, and we're going to do Export Coastlines Only. And that will do what you think it'll do. It creates just an outline of the land. So what we're going to do is we're going to tweak this map a little bit. So let's uh, first make, I like to make the ocean a little lighter. Then what we're going to do is select 
all of the land masses. And we're going to make it a sort of a, a, a light tan. This way it's very easy to see. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing again. And we're going to assign it a solid black outline. So that's a little more presentable. And the next, uh, last thing we're going to do is we're going to go to these uh, polar ice caps and we're going to lower the, lower the uh, transparency a little bit so that you can actually see the land beneath it. I hope this gives you an idea of how you can use astrosynthesis and fractal mapper together to make some great planet maps.